How's it going bros? My name is PewDiePie. Today we're looking at another 90 Day Fiance and oh boy, oh boy, is this gonna be an interesting one. This time we're meeting a female American whose name is Nicole. She's 22 years old and she's about to meet the love of her life. They are engaged, I think. I'm not sure. She's a little big. TLC wrote that. <laughs> God, I love these. Best show ever. I would never have expected. All right, let's watch. Hey. So we meet Nicole. Hey, Hi, May. <laughs> love your hair, May. Look, May. She's You're a mother. Her business, just like we're all gonna be up in yours. Classic oh, American yeah. family. Since I told my family about the trip, they've been very uh, against it and really want me to not go. Uh, dear God, we ask that you bless this food that we don't just protect Nicole on her trip to Morocco and that this guy isn't in it for whatever he's in it for. That he actually likes her and loves her and that he's going to take care of her. And she's name, amen. 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 They seem pretty hopeful that things are gonna go right. Please, for the love of God, make her not use her for their money. My family support it. Religions? Completely different nationalities and different religions. work ethics and religions and Language. everything is different. Damn, opinionated kid, huh? Blue shirt kid, the American version with... <laughs> All right, I'm curious who the guy is that she's gonna meet. Trying to find out if this guy, I be going if, it wasn't if worth this it. guy is the love of your life. Trying to find out if having potato chips as a, in, on the dinner table, not bad, not bad. That's how you know you're in America. Trying to find out if is it worth it? No, I don't think it is, honey. If he's the love of my life, it's not worth it trying to find out. Not if what his intentions are are wrong. Damn, mm -hmm. who is this guy? He must be absolutely the worst. Nicole's a beautiful girl. Yeah. But she's not, you know, the most beautiful girl out there. And as- Bruh. Bruh. Imagine your parents describing you like that on TV. Nice. Nice one, mom. Thanks, mom. He is a person. <laughs> no. Not the best person. <laughs> There's this expression, if you don't have anything nice to say, they don't say anything at all. And I feel like that should apply to your kids on national television, at least. <laughs> I know where she's coming from. It's like, she's questioning what this guy's motives are. I guess we're just gonna have to find out. He's a very handsome man. And it's Damn, floor gang. Oh. Difficult to understand with this- 20% muscle increase, absolutely. So Nicole takes off to Morocco. That's where her lover or her life is. I've been to Morocco. It's a very unique place. I think if you're not ready for the culture change, that it will be a big shot. Uh, but it's very beautiful, and the food is amazing. Take good care of my baby. I'm trusting you. Yeah, thanks. Love you. I'm so curious. Did that like... sound real sincere to you, Nicole? Yes, it did. Yeah, that sounded sincere. I think it's good that he's spoken to the parents at least, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. I find this so interesting because I, I obviously went met my wife online in a completely different country. But Morocco, that's very different from America. I hope she's ready for it. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> Nicole, she's my fiance. We've been waiting for a long time to meet and be together. So that's why she came to Morocco. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited. And I can't wait to go to the airport to bring her from there. All and, right. Yeah, I'm just excited. She looks excited. I believe it. So let's go. Yeah. My friend Hamza, he's coming because he's my best friend, so he wants also to meet her. Oh, that's sweet. What do you feel now? How do you feel now? You know, I just worry it? that maybe she will not like Morocco, you know. No, I have like come some on. fear, you know. No, we start by Marrakesh, and Marrakesh is a nice place. So they're in Marrakesh, that's where I've been, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice place. Yes. It's a nice place. <laughs> It has its ups and downs. We, me and Marcia made a vlog there. there. There's obviously like really bad parts of it, but a lot of it is really beautiful. I don't want to... It sounds so forced. <laughs> gotcha. I don't know. It's just funny seeing his reaction because he knows she's going to get shocked from this. I've been there. I've been to that airport. I'm about to meet like the love of my life. Like seriously? She's like, what? You can't miss her because she's American. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm about to meet the love of my life for the first time ever. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh my god. I'm right here. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Aww. I'm really happy. I feel my heart. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't. Oh wow. Nice microphone action. I'm tired and I'm hungry. <laughs> Did you hear that? Okay. <laughs> okay, can we stop hugging now? Okay. <laughs> When she dropped her bag so dramatic, I almost threw up. These comments are always so over the top. My God, I'm hungry. Are you serious, Nicole? What the hell? It's a long flight. Don't be so judgeful. The first time I saw Nicole, <laughs> I see that she's pretty and you know, it's cute. When I see all all her, I mean, all her body, I was surprised that that she's big a little bit. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. I'm guessing she never sent him full body pics. Bruh. Oh. Oh. So they go to the market to buy some food. Just like bring like fast Damn. food and stuff. The, I, I really the foodie Marrakesh was so good. Ugh. I mean, that's not what you say when it was good, but. Ugh. Damn, all the veggies was so good there. Well, all the food, my I god. I care about my. My health. Green beans like this? Are those green beans or peas? It's a bit different from potato chips on the dinner okay. table. Okay. <laughs> Vegetables in a can. Okay. That's enough for everyone? Of course it's enough. Mm -hmm. This is definitely different what I'm used to. If I even see fresh products, it's usually in a supermarket, in a refrigerated section. <laughs> That's what I'm used to for fresh ingredients. Okay, so time to go find something else. Schengen, we need to look it for other places, man. There's no place, you know. We can oh. find it here. They're going to get some fresh chicken. You get them in the box? God oh, damn. God. Do you smell chicken? Ah, oh the smell God. of chicken. It's the best. Um, Why are the chickens moving? Why are the this chickens moving? So <laughs> I like how she's acting like this is so strange. Do you be... <laughs> Do you not know where your food comes from? Seems like everyone's so attached, detached from from it. I would never hurt an animal, but chicken and and beef. Om nom 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 nom. God damn. Eat what you want, obviously. But I, I feel like we're so detached from our food. We made the process so easy for us. That's why my philosophy is that I'll eat what I would kill. Because killing things is uncomfortable. Most people wouldn't. And at least there's a level of respect there instead of completely distancing yourself from what goes through to these animals, which isn't fair a lot of the times. So it came a little bit preachy there, but I don't know, just like, oh, it's so weird, it's in the cage. Are they gonna kill it? What? what? You, you I don't have like to that. Like for five minutes to be, ready. Be, be ready by like, what do you mean? Be it ready. will not move anymore. I don't really want to see, you know, the the chicken before I go to cook it. Yeah, you don't. Like, I just want it to be... It'll make you feel bad, huh? Da! Everyone hypocrite except me. Ow! Oh, I'm joking. Today, as I'm taking me to the market in Marrakesh, and technically we're not supposed to hug or kiss in public, but that's gonna be really hard for me. Oh no, God, girl, you're in a different country. I've been there! Wow! Making out with snakes and shit. I didn't miss that on this that actually. This is the place that I want to show you, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, There's they have some amazing product there. There's a lot of stuff here, like amazing stuff. So that's cool. Ah. Oh. 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 She did not like that. Is that my Bruh. Okay. Listen, whether you agree or not or whether it's right, you're still visiting someone else's country. You have to be respectful of that. You can tell she took that personally too. I mean, that's not even the case. This is how it is there. Oh my God. Fuck me. Okay, okay let's go. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. Oh God, you don't tell me no. Like, I can understand things, okay, but you cannot just No, you're stop. not understanding things. That's the problem. <laughs> I can understand things. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think. You, you visit someone else's country, yeah, you, you just got him. This is how it is. Just feels entitled. But I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm the kind of woman who likes, like, physical affirmation, you know, hugs and kisses and even, like, little weird cute things you know just physical stuff 
I that's it's like reassuring that you know he does. God, he looks so that, done. You know, he's happy with me. I don't know. It's just like not being able to do those things. It really sucks. Like it's really upsetting. It sucks. It's so upsetting. I can't do whatever I want. They set this up to make it seem like he was the bad guy, but I don't know, man. I ain't seen any of it so far, at least. So she ran out and he just tried to stop hey. her so she doesn't get hurt. Hold on, Hassan, wait. You can't just drag her around. He's not dragging her around. He was trying to protect her. Why are you yelling? I need you to Why are you like, yelling? pay attention. What? You were the not paying attention. Like <laughs> don't tell me what to do because I know. I know, I know. Why are you saying don't tell you what to do? This guy does We're not like today, arguing in public. As in is trying to tell me how to be a Which is pretty to my fair. daughter. And I'm a little worried that we're already having an argument on the first day. Will you just stop? Because that's don't. iterating or I know how to see it. Never yell. Never yell at me. Being the first day that I'm here and Azin's already thinking he can just tell me to shut up, this time he's really gonna learn quick that that's not what he can do. I am May's mom and I just need you to listen. I know, but... Even if you know what it. Are they, what yeah. are they even arguing about? God, this is exhausting to look at. Yeah, I have a feeling this is not gonna work out. I, I Just a hunch. When I wanted to give her, like, chocolate, you said, I can't give it to her. Yeah. Well, I Remember? Meant, but I meant... now... But I mean, now when she's saying now this, she can have French fries. Like, this is more worse than than chocolate. It's like really not healthy, especially if she's not kidding. Right but now. look, the chicken is good for her. Chicken like chicken nuggets. <laughs> the chicken, is good. chicken nuggets are not that bad. I don't know what about you, but I wouldn't take health advice from from her. That's all I'm going to say. I love how he doesn't yell. Just calmly tells her not to yell at her. Kid, fries. Overweight mother. That's my kid. Welcome to America. In different way because in Morocco like. Dear mom makes like healthy They do food. have healthy food. Really I'm afraid good food. if I go to America that, that I miss the she food. will not cook for me and just like bring like fast food and stuff. I, I really worry about this because I always care about my my health. I think frozen food and chicken nuggets and all this okay, stuff it's, I it's, can't it's make, serious. I cannot food. make fresh home cooked meals every day. But frozen is seen. okay. Frozen okay, is not okay. <laughs> I'm not a stay-at-home mom, like your sister and your mom was, or I can't. My sister should work. You know this. Damn, rude. You just need to try, try. Okay, I'm, try. I'm not against trying. It's just, I want you. You're definitely to against trying. <laughs> she seems like the kind of person that tries once. Ah, oh, this is impossible. I can't do this. Oh man. You promised me that you're gonna change, and you said that you'll go to gym and eat healthy. Oh. I mentioned that I should make some lifestyle changes. If we, we really want to be like together, of course we should change, you know. I can, if you can. I can. Okay. God, I he's to not hopeful up. at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was going well, but I got stressed out, so I kind of stopped, so. <laughs> oh my God, I was right. Holy shit. I did it, but uh, stress they have too much. So they go to the desert, ride some epic camels. Miss the desert? We didn't have time to do this, unfortunately. Um, no. It's super hot. The sand doesn't work out. Good. The camera ride sucks. Oh my god. Stop being lazy and go to do some workout, honey. Uh, Cam will be like, bruh. He sprinkles the word honey in sentences for damage control. That's good. Cam will be like, wait, that thing is gonna ride me? No! Sorry. No! Catch my breath real quick. I don't exercise, okay? This is not a thing for me. <laughs> Jeez. I, obviously, you shouldn't have to change completely for your partner. That's not it at all. But a partner can help you, inspire you to be more healthy. That's not a bad thing. Uh, I'm not trying to shame anyone for being out of shape either. I know it's hard losing weight. Uh, a lot of a lot a lot of people struggle with it. They're, it's just how it is. But she seems to meet it with so much anger and oh, it's too hard. I can't do it. You have someone there that can help you. Use that. She seems to resist him for it almost, or resent him. I don't know. That's just what I picked up. Can you please stop just? No, because I'm, I'm, I'm living, how different. for example, okay. if I go this there, is, this is I'm you living, think, you think listen, that there's this... What are they arguing about? 
a thing that I don't love about you, you know? You <laughs> always stop me when I talk. <laughs> you know, just try to be like Moroccan people just for one month. I'm not Moroccan. I know, but try to, because... Why do try... you want me to be Moroccan? <sighs> Didn't you fall in love with me because I'm not Moroccan? Well, if I say stuff like this, it, it doesn't mean that I don't love you, okay? I just but want I'm to... not your perfect woman. <laughs> but, you, but I love you in a way. And if I say things like you should change, it doesn't mean that I'm, I'll, I'll give up on you or something, you know? It's like she's giving up on herself. I'm not your perfect woman, boo-hoo me. That's not it at all. He's trying to help you. That's what I'm picking up, at least. Curious what you guys think. Honey, he's not trying to change you. He's just asking you to kindly respect their culture. He deserves a green card for his patience. As a Moroccan myself, I'm super surprised he stayed calm during this argument because most guys would throw a tantrum because you don't play no games with no Moroccan. And especially you do not disrespect one's culture. He, he's been very calm throughout all of this. Maybe he's just pulling it through for the cameras. I don't know, but I can't really fault him on anything so far. I want to be healthy, but I don't think I need to change myself for a man for him to love me. Because if he loves me, he should love me for who I am. That attitude. It's like saying, I'm perfect, and I should be praised for being perfect at all times. Obviously, you love someone, you love someone, but encouraging someone to be better shouldn't be met with, oh, you don't think I'm perfect? Oh, I'm not good enough for you? To be honest, it's, it will be very hard, like, for the first days, but one day in the future, you're gonna thank me. <laughs> There's some stuff. I oh, hope so. Change of like to go to gym and like to not be lazy. And... I'm not lazy. Sometimes you are. Do you know what you're <laughs> I'm what? Do you know what you're asking from me right now? To go to gym and <laughs> be healthy. And that oh. is if that doesn't happen, I'm not sure that I'm going to America. Oh. Give me your hand. That's cool. Very strong. That's good. That's good. Now I'm sure you'll feel burning your legs. All your body will be like very burning. Okay? Nothing's going on with you. Just don't worry. Give me 15 seconds. Do you feel something in this place? How you feel? How you feel? It's okay. It's just burning. I don't want you to be lazy, you know. It's a woman that's not comfortable with pain. That's what you're thinking. Okay, you can see. Okay, good, good. You see? You're good, good. You see? You'll be fine, honey, okay? I really like him. He isn't fat shaming her. He only wants her to be healthy. He isn't pushing her too hard and congratulates her after she's done with the exercise. So, for today, we're finished. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Physically, I'm attracted to Nicole, but it's not like, just like, for example, 55%. Ooh, he put a number on it. Because Damn. I always want my wife to go to the gym with me and be healthy. <laughs> oh, that face. But are you attracted to me no matter what? I, I love you. Just please, let's go to the gym together. But are you attracted to me no matter what? Oh my what? God. Yeah. You're so <laughs> I love this. This is so awkward and painful. How do they find these people? It's so perfect. I love it. It doesn't seem like that interesting premise of a show, but it truly is. So finally, they go through this big fight, and I'm not sure what's happening. As always. I hate everything. You want to escape from Nicole? Just go upstairs. Sorry, that was a low joke. What is happening? Oh my God, he worries about everything I say. I swear to God, he can't even look at me as a single person. I am just a bunch, a group of Americans. I'm just American to him, okay? Trump is our president. Man, in a way, I, I do feel for her. Let me try and be nice. Um, it seems like she knows about the issues, but she thinks it's too hard to overcome them. So once a person in her life comes in and can actually help her, to push herself when she realizes that she can't do it or doesn't want to do it she gets frustrated at him when she, in reality she's being frustrated with herself mr armchair psychologist over here and he can't see me the way i am the way i've always been to him the way i am to him yeah i'm sure she's sweet at some points yeah he doesn't defend me I don't at doubt all that. and i'm pretty sure he wouldn't stay with you otherwise is he gonna confront her <laughs> I know I made mistakes, but I wish he would just 
Why? It's not fair for him to be just trustful and disrespectful to me just because of what I did. Wait, what did she do? You know, before I cheated on him, things were amazing. Uh huh. After I cheated, it changed. Before I cheated on him, things were amazing, and then after I cheated on him, things changed. What? <laughs> oh my god, everything was- every hope I had for you, Nicole, just went out the window there. My f god, how can you be so unself-aware? My actions had consequences. What? It's not fair to me that I did something bad. Unbelievable. He took advantage of this heiress. Yeah, she cheated and acts like a victim. <laughs> Off, dude. God. But the way he talks to me is not fair. Sounds like it is, honey. I'm not talking to you because you don't know how to talk. I don't know how to Come talk. On. Oh my God. The only thing that you can don't, do don't, no, 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 no. Don't even, something. don't even. You're just crazy. Man. Oh my God. God, that was crazy. I can't believe it. In the beginning as well, family would seem so concerned. Like, you know, Morocco is a very different country. It's a big culture change. And the, even the kid was like, yeah, different values, different lifestyle, different jobs, all these things. And she just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she so obviously didn't even try. Gosh, what a great show. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like, subscribe. Thanks for becoming a member. All the member revenue goes to charity. Uh, I decided this month is going to Yemen, the humanitarian crisis. So it's going to for the Save the Children. It's a great charity. And, and it will go specifically for the Yemen issue that I'm donating towards. Uh, so I just want to say thanks to everyone for becoming a member. We really made a big impact. And I'll post about it in the community post um, once it's all done. But I just wanted to announce that. I think it's really cool. I'm really proud of you guys. And um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Hey, you doing, Ah, uh, children of nine parts! It's time to raise what was once forgotten. What creatures, fart spells, and poop troops await? Poop tea is coming to Nintendo Switch! And remember, it has a very big PP. Pre-order promotion, I mean. Yeah, 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 we are set for the